the prologue. I am here to embrace everyone. October, November and October 1993. Adidas Samraj. From Ishta. At heart all are one. At heart, a human being is not the slightest bit different from the reptiles, the birds, the former dinosaurs, the elephants, the plants, the trees, the wind, the sky, the microbes. Apart from their functioning conditionality, all beings are the same. Human beings are not uniquely to be saved. All beings, even all of conditional manifestation, is the sphere of my work. I do not make the slightest jot of distinction between a human being and any other form or appearance. There is none to be made. Appearing before you in human form, I play with you in human terms. But my work, moment by moment, all together, encompasses all. Not only all human beings, not only all beings, but everything. I am in conversation with all beings and things. It is not that only human beings are full of soul and everything else should be chopped up and eaten for lunch. If you examine beings other than the human, feel them, are sensitive to them, enter directly into relationship with them, you discover that they are the same and not just the somewhat bigger ones like my parrots but the mosquitoes too, which you swat out as if they were nothing. At heart, human beings are manifesting a potential that is in all and that is inherent in conditional existence itself. Whether this potential is exhibited or not, whether it is made human or not, makes no difference whatsoever to the divine self-condition. All is one. All are the same. All equally require divine compassion, love and blessing. The thread of communion with the divine made certain and true and directly experienced. All. Therefore, the sphere of my work is all beings and things. Literally, it is so. This is literally how I work. I cannot size up one thing or being against another. The devotee against the non-devotee. The human against the non-human. The earth against some other place. I cannot do that. I am doing a universal work. I am here to receive and kiss and embrace everyone, everything, everything that appears, everything that is. The God force requires great sensitivity from you. You must be combined with it if you are to be full of my divine love bliss. This is the reason for devotion to me, the reason for discipline, the reason for purification, the reason for right living in my company. Such right practice and right living allow you to be wholly sensitive to the great force of divine reality in which you are arising, in which you exist and which you must realise. The true religious life is purified, given over and surrendered to the divine. Therefore, 
in such a life by every means, even natural human altogether, you are made available to the ecstasy of divine communion. What must you do? How must you live in order to be sensitive to that which you are given by me, to that which is great, to that which must be realised, to that to which you must surrender yourself in order to realise? The law of that which is coming upon you, given to you by me, is the law that changes your life, that obliges you, that makes you straight, that sends you beyond yourself. All the searches of conditionally born beings are based on the absence of sensitivity to my love bliss, my divine transmission, my guru shakti. That is why you think, why you react, why you seek bodily. That is why you desensitize yourself with all the techniques of egoic self-possession. The only way to realize the divine fullness is to be sensitive to it. And the only way to become sensitive to it is to discipline yourself and not resort to conditional means when your experience is painful or disregard the divine when your experience is pleasurable. The religious life is about dealing with conditional existence, not just in its worst moments, but in every moment. Always to be Godward, God-possessed, moved to God communion. If you are my devotee, if you remember me, then in any moment, in my physical company, or in your remembering me, all things that may distract you from me are vanished. This yoga of Ishtaguru Bhakti is the most fundamental practice of the way of the heart. I am here to be available to you in your spiritual availability to me. I have given you everything to prepare yourself for me spiritually. Why deny yourself the great work in my company? You need not be a genius to be spiritually available to me. I have not given you a way that requires genius in order to advance. The way of the heart requires that you exercise the ordinary equipment that is already there in your body-mind. The only thing required of you in my company is the exercise of what you already possess. <laughs>